Hey, my peoples. So this is part two. There's a bit of a trigger warning. If you have a service dog and you're triggered by stories talking about people messing with your service dog, please scroll on. I completely understand. There is no graphic pictures or depictions in this, but this is what happened to us on March 2nd at Olive Garden. So in part one, we went over the big discussion of over where they were going to put us because of Squigs, which I get, he's kind of a big dog. He's a hundred pounds of fluff. So our waiter starts to come over and usually we'll be like, just so you know, there's a dog under the table. And he immediately came over and goes, oh, that's a gorgeous dog. <laughs> and Lily's mom goes, well, I guess we don't have to tell you there's a dog under the table. He goes, nope, I already saw it. <clears throat> he never tried to engage with Squigs. He never tried to do anything to acknowledge the fact that he was there other than to say that he was a beautiful dog. And that was awesome too. It was just an enjoyable evening. There's Lily with her mom. Before anybody asks, I do not use her name on this platform or any of my social media. And there is a reason why. If you'd like to know the reason why, ask me and maybe I'll do a video about it. Because it's an important issue. Back to dinner. Normally Squigs tucks up all the way to the back of the table. But on this particular instance, he did this. There was plenty of room for him under the table all the way. But he decided to stick out just a little bit. Literally like the same amount that my foot stuck out from under the table. So he wasn't in the way or anything. But this little tidbit is important to the story. So we all ordered dinner. It was pretty good. I mean, it's Olive Garden. I liked Olive Garden better when it was like a homemade restaurant. When they used to actually make their pastas, their pasta sauces and everything there. And yes, I'm old. For you that didn't know that they used to do that, they used to actually do that in each restaurant. So the wait staff is great. Dinner was pretty good. And Lily's mom and I were talking about how just of an enjoyable experience it was. Because you've been waiting for this damn Olive Garden to open because we have to drive like 45 minutes to get to one. And this one's five minutes away. And we always kind of joke and tease about it because of the fact that, that Lily's mom always has the same thing. Salad, breadsticks, and a bowl of Alfredo sauce for her breadsticks. That's all she wants to eat from there. That's it. The one thing that I did do, and Lily's mom was like, Nana. I told them it was her birthday and that we needed to embarrass her absolutely and completely because it's her 30th birthday, a milestone birthday. And she deserved to be made fun of <laughs> and pointed out in the public. We usually don't do that for birthdays. We usually are very low key. Like, oh yeah, we'll take the free dessert. We'll, we'll do that. But do you have to sing? We don't, we don't do that. So on part three, we'll go over with the incident that happened. Because until the incident, it was a lovely dinner.